14 must know questions to ask your partner before marriage. Marriage is a serious step, and even though you are in your dating euphoria, let's not forget about common sense. The truth is, so many issues in marriages could be avoided if partners put in some more effort before it. One of the ways to do it is to ask your partner the right questions. Keep watching this video and learn the best relationship advice. What questions to ask your partner before marriage to avoid divorce? Why is it important to discuss certain things before marriage? How to save your marriage before even getting married? And much more. 1. Children Everything that concerns children must be asked before marriage. Your plans, views, and opinions on children might be the opposite, regardless of your strong feelings. You should make such points absolutely clear for you both. Do you want to have children? How many kids do you want to have? At what stage before marriage do you want to have children? How do you plan to educate your children? To what extent your parents will participate in the growth of your children, etc. All these and many more other important points regarding kids to be asked before marriage will save you from huge disappointments in the future. Have you known that the biggest number of divorces happen in the first three years after having children? This happens exactly because you have never discussed such critical questions before marriage. 2. Money If you don't discuss money aspects before getting married, you do not discuss anything at all. Money is crucial, especially when it comes to families. Try to make it clear. Do we both imagine how we're going to earn money and how and who will spend them? Who will make the most important financial decisions in our family? What your attitude to your different incomes is, etc. Everything that concerns your financial life and obligations must be clearly identified at the early stage of your relationship. Especially, it concerns long-distance relationships when one of the partners supports another one financially. 3. Household Here is dating advice for a man and a woman. The common household is inevitable. You will not spend all of your time in restaurants and cafe. You both will live in one place, have a common household, duties, and needs. You need to discuss how to spread your house chores. Who will wash, clean, how often, etc. These things will happen very soon. And if you disagree on them, divorce will be inevitable. 4. Health Of course, you cannot discuss your illness at the beginning of your relationships unless they are obvious. Here is dating advice for women. There is no need to ask or tell about the illnesses or health issues on your first dates. This happens much later, when you both trust one another. However, it is necessary to learn about them before marriage. Let's say your partner has chronic issues that are not obvious but may cause many inconveniences in life. If you're not ready to face them and cope with them, common life will be very tough. So try to find out everything possible about the health of your future husband or wife. If your partner is snoring and it irritates you, it is not the reason not to marry. You can just sleep in different bedrooms. If you have long-distance love, this problem is not that essential. 5. Love It's obvious that you're going to marry someone because you love this person. But what is love for you? Does your partner comply with your image of love and your needs? Does he or she give you what you want and what you need? Let's say you have asked for a cup of water 
and your partner gave you a cup of milk because it's healthier. In this case, you receive a drink, but not exactly the one you asked for. So make sure the person you're going to marry realizes and understands your needs. Ask questions that will help you understand whether your partner respects, hears you, and complies with your needs and expectations. 6. Sex Of course, sex is important for any relationship and marriage. However, this is not what your marriage is based on. According to research, intimacy takes just 1% of all important issues of our married lives. It means that other things are much more important for marriages. At the same time, lots of marriages are broken because of it. Many people are not afraid to have sex before marriage, but are afraid to discuss it. Why? You should discuss it before having sexual relationships, or at least realize that waiting until marriage with this topic is unreasonable. How much will sex matter for you in your marriage, whether you're bonded by something more than just sex? And many other intimacy-related issues must be discussed before you get married. 7. Entertainment Entertainment has nothing to do with sex. It is so crucial to realize how you both arrange leisure, rest, and vacations. You both may have different preferences on having rest. For example, lots of men prefer having rest at home because they work in society. If a woman works at home, she wants to have rest in society. Even in terms of rest and leisure, you may disagree. Realize that you are not obliged to have rest, arrange leisure, and go on vacations together. Each of you may have his and her personal space, but it is better to agree on it before marriage, not to have misunderstandings in the future. 8. Communication Communication is important. Men and women are different in emotional aspects. Women talk a lot, while men talk much less. Therefore, females need more communication than men. Find out whether you both meet your expectations in terms of healthy communication. If you lack communication, ask for it. Discuss it with your partner and let him or her know that you need more of him. You have a necessity to be heard. 9. Values Family values are important. Did you both achieve agreement on the religious education of your children? If you don't know how to make long-distance relationships work, the best way is to discuss the values of your future family. Especially if you both come from different cultures, countries, and religions. You may have a lot of disagreements in this aspect. It is crucial to discuss these topics before getting married. 10. Friends You both must have friends. It also may happen that one of your partners is a highly sociable person who needs to meet his or her friends quite often, while another one doesn't have many friends and prefers spending time with his or her wife or husband. Your marriage will be a challenge in this case. It is really significant to find out how much time you both spend with your friends. Ask whether your partner is okay with you going out with your friends, etc. Here is a long distance relationship advice if you both live in different places before marriage for some reason. Ask about your partner's friends. Who are his friends or her friends? How much time do they spend together? How often do they go out? Whether they're single or not, etc. All these things matter for your future marriage. Do not expect that your partner will stop communicating with his friends after marriage. 11. Parents 
You both love your parents. You will need to live not only with your partner, but deal with his family and parents as well. You should know as much as possible about them. First of all, it will help you understand your partner better. Look at his or her parents, how they live, what their family is like, and many things that will give you enough information about your future family. Our company is the leading matchmaking service with more than 15 years of experience. We are capable selecting the matches, men and women from all around the globe, including Slavic and Asian countries. Our agency offers not just matches selection, but also professional psychologist guidance to help you improve your communication and understanding with the opposite sex. Nowadays, most people do not know how to build up long-lasting relations. Well, we know, and that's where we are willing to help professionally. So, if you find online dating, as well as dating apps, to be a waste of time, then welcome to join our website, where our professional matchmakers will surely help you to select the right match. We will continue our discussion, so the next question number 12 is irritating features. If there are features that irritate you and your partner, do not expect them to disappear or change after marriage. If you do not like them now, do not expect to like them after marriage. Pay attention to these qualities and ask as many questions as possible to find out whether your partner is ready to change them. After marriage, your irritation will only grow. 13. Limitations Is there anything one of the partners cannot refuse after marriage? Let's say you don't like smokers. Ask whether your partner is ready to quit smoking before or after marriage. If you're not ready to refuse something, you should tell about it. The same concerns your partner. If you expect him or her to refuse something, you should start this discussion before marriage. 14. Duties Both men and women have their duties and obligations in marriages. You must learn about yours and tell about your idea of how you share your duties before marriage. Remember, there is no normal age to start dating or a standard scheme of marriage. Everything is very individual. People are usually disappointed not by their partners, but by the fact that they do not meet their expectations. Make sure your expectations are realistic and your partner complies with them before getting married. Now over to you. Was this current video useful? Do you think your approach towards serious relations shall be changed somehow? Feel free to ask your professional matchmakers for proper dating advice in your comment below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you!